Does OSHA require the top of a trench box to extend at least 18 inches above grade? According to an OSHA letter of interpretation, the answer is no. The OSHA excavation standard does not require trench boxes to extend above grade. They can be placed level with the ground. However, this assumes that all spoil, materials, and equipment are kept at least two feet back from the edges of the trench or secured with suitable retaining devices to prevent them from falling or rolling into the excavation. That said, even though OSHA doesn't require an 18-inch extension, your employer, general contractor, or competent person on site may have stricter requirements. And in those cases, their rules must be followed. So if OSHA allows the top of a trench box to set at ground level, why do so many people believe their regulations require the top of a trench box to extend 18 inches above grade? It's probably because of a different requirement found in Appendix B of the OSHA Subpart P Excavation Standards. That is where you will see a diagram where a trench box is used in combination with sloping to protect workers. In that situation, the top of the trench box, which sits below grade, extends at least 18 inches above the vertical portion of the trench walls, starting at the point where the slope begins. This 18-inch extension is mandatory every time a trench box is used together with sloping to ensure workers are protected from soil and material sliding into the box. To learn even more about OSHA's excavation standards, have us come to your site and conduct an Excavation Safety for the Competent Person class for your group of eight or more people. Check the description and comments below for a link to see our training page and another to see the OSHA letter of interpretation mentioned in this video.